creating a comprehensive purchase order report that includes details such as PO status, approval status, the number of approved and unapproved POs, and invoice status is a common requirement for every organization. With business performance analytics, these details can be easily achieved by generating a report from scratch on this topic. In this lesson, I will teach you how to create a purchase order report. I will create a new report by clicking on new. I will give a name. I will select Power BI, start with the blank template, create. Our report is created, PO status report. I will select edit. I will delete this defaulted slicers. First thing I will do, I will bring a count for PO. For that, I will select this card. I will resize this one. I will keep it like this. And here I need to, I want to see how many purchase orders are there in system. For that, I will just go to the matrix. From the matrix, I will select purchase order and then purchase order count. The count has come here. Next thing I will do, I will select this clustered bar chart. In this clustered bar chart, I will use how many are purchased, how many purchase orders are confirmed, approved the status. Here I will use the status of the purchase order. I will select this, I will resize this one. To bring the purchase order status, we will go to facts, under facts, under purchase order, under other columns, we will see the status. I will just bring the status here. And in the x axis, I will get the purchase order count. I will go to matrix. From here, I will just bring the purchase order count. So now, if I click on this focus, so we have another clustered bar, bar chart which stays, which denotes status wise count how many are invoiced and how many are open order or how many are confirmed. Next, we will bring the purchase order approval status. Again, we will use this clustered bar chart. To bring the purchase order approval status, again we will go to facts under purchase order, other columns. Here we will see approval status. This one we will bring this into the y axis and we will get the count from the matrix purchase order count. Now our parameters and dashboard framework are ready. Now we will use a matrix. In this matrix, we will bring all the details related to purchase order, like purchase order status, purchase order approval status, line number, purchase order invoice number, delivery status, purchase order line status, everything, whatever is required to create a purchase order report. So most of the thing, we will get it from the dimensions and facts. First, we will bring the currency. <clears throat> We can bring legal entity. We can bring vendor number or vendor name from the selling party. We can bring purchase order number from the dimension table. Now we will use fact table. Purchase order, fact table, under that I can bring many things like approval status, line description, line unit price, line unit of measure, line status, from the amount I can bring amount line charge, quantity, remaining quantity, everything, whatever is required, I can bring here. And after that, I will just maybe first save it. Now the report is ready. 
almost and i will just edit it and i will bring the column here for column i will bring purchase order quantity and purchase order value from the matrix i'll select purchase order i'll select the quantity like if you see purchase order quantity purchase order remaining quantity you know line inventory quantity those are there i will bring the purchase order quantity here and i will add the value purchase order amount value okay i'll save it again let's see how it looks so this is how the report is looking like i will just expand it if you see uh, vendor name legal entity name but certain number approval status quantity amount line unit price line status line unit measure all are well, whatever you have selected it is coming now we will just expand the inr one same thing However, the report is not fitting in the page. So what I will do, I will just resize this. I will click on edit. What I will do, it's still not fitting it. So what I will do, I will rename those fields, column fields or row fields to make it short. For column also, I will just rename this. Now, let's see. Now the report looks good. I've saved it. If you see all the things which is coming right, EOM, quantity, value, uh, with currency, legal entity, PO number, approval status, it is a purchase order app. A workflow approval status quantity amount everything is coming whatever is needed you can further check and bring as per your requirement now we will just modify or maybe we will just make it nice i have selected the purchase order count one i will go to effects and from the color i will change the color so like this way you can you can modify or beautify this report as per your requirement i what i will do i will change the title for for those Clustered bar chart. I have changed it to PO count. And here, purchase order status. Here also, I will change that, like approval status. Similar way, we can also you can also modify whatever is required as per your requirement. Okay. Now. let's do one thing let's add slicers because we have added the flat dashboards like status PO count but we don't have any parameters added so what we are doing we are adding the slicers like we have done in our previous uh, videos as well right so here i'm adding the slicers like currency currency type from here i will change that drop down like oops oh, okay i will select the drop down from the field para from the field parameter they are selecting the currency type so now the second one i will i will bring the year as a parameter i will change the slicers from vertical list to drop down i will resize this one the last one i will bring the legal entity name so you can select this report based on legal entity from the parameter from year and from currency type i will change the legal entity name slicer setting to all all right the report is looking like this so this is how you can create your purchase order report and you can play around it